It was arrogance. My arrogance. A clarification required to absolve all else from blame. I hold no delusions of my incompetence. Not anymore. At least now these graves are filled. I only ever wanted to prove to you all that I was above my origins. I suppose that's a moot point now. She's the only one left. I'm going there now to learn everything. I'm sorry. Heron? It is you. It's been a while. Yeah, um... I remember you. I don't remember your name, but I definitely remember you. You were... helping me out back in Yurateth. I didn't expect to see you all the way out here. I can say the same. Indeed. Do you remember how we parted ways? I was given the opportunity to speak with Batari while you returned. Here, I assume. I thought you had business with Varkin. As it turns out, Batari was here in the mainland. Yeah, yes, below ring. Ah, you've seen her. It seems we've all been played for fools. I just have no idea what's going on anymore. Well, I can help explain. What? So... My sister and the queen. Atari willingly allows herself to be played with by Zarnaya, thus causing the walls to be locked down for her own entertainment. This is disgusting. So then, what about you? What are you doing here? No reason. With you, I doubt that's the case, but I won't push. I understand discretion. No, I, I just sort of wound up here. I was on my way back to Yurateth when I realized there was no way for me to actually get back. No dock keeper. I'm going to tag along with you for a little bit. You know the mainland more than I do. I might be able to find someone willing to ferry me across. Well, yeah, but it'll probably cost you a billion dollars. Don't you owe me a favor? Do I remember that? I remember it now. But I don't remember it well enough to choose it. Actually, I'm going to sit here and not say anything because there's still something that I need to be alone for. Well, actually, that alone thing I can't really get to right now. So, fine. Thank you. Malik, that's your name. By the way, you seem to be holding onto that cloak of yours very tightly. Can I ask why? I, I sort of just now obtained it. I don't even know what it is. Press D to activate and deactivate Cardigan's cloak. 
While worn, speed is increased and fallen members can be revived upon using the heal spell. Your control manual has been updated. Alright, cool. Um... Is it just a thing that I happen to have? A key item? Yep, it's a key item. Special item. So we got another button I need to sign. Okay. Well, unfortunately, I don't think I have anything on hand, any of my buttons assigned to actually do that. So I kind of need to figure something out here with my buttons. Let's see here. Well, let me check my equipment situation real quick. Normally, I have the shoulder buttons changed between that. I suppose I could just make it so only one of the shoulder buttons does a thing. Alright, I guess that's what I'll do. So, I will change this to D. So that's kind of interesting. Now what? Would you like an escort out of the desert? Not yet. Let me kind of look around here. See if anything new is going on. He ain't having friends. You you're not saying anything new. Out of curiosity, what are my missions right now? Colors? Okay, so this is the start of the next part of the main quest. I need to use this thing more often. Still can't get to the World Enders. I kind of missed that opportunity. And I have yet to find a tuft of Urak grass. Well, as far as subquests go, There seems to be something behind the curtain preventing access. As far as subquests goes, there might be one available to me that I kind of missed. I meant to go there before heading into Ring. So I suppose that is a thing that I will try. Wait, what? Once knew a lady from the mainland who came in wearing rocks. You might be able to find her corpse somewhere near here. I wonder where I would find this person. Or how. This will kind of make the search a little bit faster. I wouldn't know what I was looking for unless it's literally a pile of bones. Boy, th this cape is certainly handy, I gotta say. This is gonna make exploration either a whole lot easier or a whole lot more difficult. Depends on how easy or hard it would be to get through tight spaces. You're gone. Well, hold on a sec. Well, there's a gravestone here. But, can't seem to do anything with it. I want to try something. I don't know that it would work.
But here goes something. If I go really fast, I find treasure. There's treasure. Going back now. That was a thing. Is that what killed me before? That might have been what it killed me before. Okay, what was the thing that I just found? Also, I need to give you stuff, apparently. Let's check my stuff here. The desert Cloak. Increases defense and mana for companions. User avoids all critical hits. I don't even know if I've been hit by critical hits. Uh, you can't equip anything. If we do that, that happens. Give you the Katori staff. Okay. Nice. However, I think I need to equip you with this. That way I can use... Well, I, mean, I can use this. I was looking at these other ones. Colors are, uh... Hmm. Alright, let's try... Try that some more. Maybe now I can actually... This might be the course we were talking about before. Alright, let's see if we can explore without dying, hopefully. Supposedly, Cardigan's Temple is somewhere out here. Treasure. Saving the treasure. Hopefully treasures are not going to be too difficult to find. As in, hopefully there's not a whole bunch of them out in the middle of nowhere. I need to get this. It's another desert cloak. Gotcha. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm not dying as hard as I was whenever I... Of course, I could be speaking a little too soon. Yeah, this cape is definitely handy. Gotta say. I'll just stick to the edge of the for of the desert. If there's any random potions or other treasures in the middle of the desert, it's probably not going to be really worth looking for cuz it'll just be combing the desert. Wait, what's this? I found a place. House of the Fern. Huh. Well, this is going to be interesting. Hmm. Well, before we check this place out, we should be getting ready for a break. However, before we actually go on break, allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is Erica Wemiss Fuzzbottom, and I am a spotted skunk dragon. I am no longer a raccoon. At least for the time being. Longtime fans might remember that years ago I chose to be a raccoon dragon instead of a skunk dragon. But ever since then, I have on multiple occasions tried being a skunk dragon instead. I would usually, well, okay, always go back to being a raccoon. 
There was also this one time, um, a few years ago, when I actually tried combining the two, see if that would work out, being a skunk raccoon dragon. I didn't really like it, it was too complicated, so it was back to pure raccoon. Well, luckily I've been in the mood to try it again, so this time I'm trying it again, this time as a spotted skunk. Spotted skunks are basically like regular skunk, skunks, but except a little bit more spotty. And they're also a little bit more ferrety in their movements. They are not as waddly as a skunk, I guess I could say. Also, they can do handstands. I, I should totally learn how to do handstands if I'm going to be a spotted skunk. But they are like the most adorable kind of skunks, and I decided to go ahead and try being one. Maybe this time I'll stay a skunk? Either that, or I'll go back to being a raccoon again. It was worth experimenting, though. Oh, hold on a sec. I forgot one little thing. Where is text? Where is text? Did I delete text? I deleted text. I deleted text. Dang it. Information was supposed to be in the corner where I mentioned who drew this. That's unfortunate. Well, I'll have that information up um, sometime. I'll have to recover my uh, thing from a previous thing, I guess. Whatever. Anyway, now we'll go ahead and do the whole break, uh, the whole, um, break thing. And when we come back... We'll find out what this house that I just wandered into is all about. It seems to have more of those Geikol folk in it. Let's see if they're a good thing or a bad thing.